Hi everybody! My name is Alexey Chupin. This is University 8 Flame, episode number 7. University 8 Flame. Let's beginning! Well, if you already got all scared that I'm gonna speak English today, then relax. I will speak Russian, but only because the person I'm going to interview speaks Russian to you. So meet our expert, a real professional who knows everything about our national team's achievement during universions. Please welcome Alex Chupin. Thank you. Alex, our first question is about non-official medal team total at Olympics and universities. We know this is not official, but at the same time, this is the major pointer of team performance during the games. First of all, I'd like to point out that our national team has always been performing well at university competitions. We have always been placed among the leaders, even if we take into account only the last four university games, not to mention the Soviet Union achievements. Our national team only took the first or second places. In 2005, Russian national team along with China took the first place. Back in 2007, China was the winner. Later in 2009 in Belgrade, Russia won again. And in 2011, China won its university in Shenzhen. Wow, we see national team of China is doing really well. And how about the USA, for example, and other countries? Do we have only one real competitor? Well, that may sound pretty strange. We got used that the national team of the USA has always been our perpetual rival. But for the several past years, Americans were finding themselves no higher than the fifth place during university competitions. And sometimes even the Ukrainians managed to beat up the American sportsmen. So if you look at the table, you will see that for the past 10 years, mostly Asian athletes have been our main rivals. I'm talking about Japan, Korea and China, of course. So do you mean to say that Chinese national team is stronger than our team at the moment? You know, I wouldn't say so. It depends what period we take into account. If we remember all the history of universities, then of course Soviet sportsmen has always been the first in medal total. Just remember the university in Moscow. Our athletes won 68 golden medals from 111 medal sets. Wait, but if we take a look at the final table of Shenzhen University, we'll see that the Chinese have beaten up this record as well. They won 75 golden medals. Well, it depends again. In Moscow, we won 68 golden medals out of 111, while in China, they won 75 out of 306 sets. And Kazan University is very different in this relation because there will be held a record of 327 medal sets. And I believe our sportsmen will be able to beat up Xinjiang record. This sounds really cool and optimistic, but what sports can bring us victory and more medals that we need so bad? Actually, our sportsmen can bring us victory in any kind of sport. For example, at Xinjiang University, our athletes were the best in athletics. We usually achieve good results in weightlifting, shooting, fencing and also swimming. Though our swimmers finished very poor in Shenzhen with only one silver and two bronze medals, while Americans won 12 golden medals and Chinese 6 golden medals. I would call it a failure. But this time swimming can bring us those missing medals. We can also become medalists in boxing, rowing and canoe sprint. Moreover, tickets for Kazan University will be almost the cheapest we have ever had in the history. So I'm appealing for each and every one to come and support our national team. And together we'll celebrate our victory in Kazan University. If you forgot all the ticket prices we had told you about, subscribe here. Check the social networks right here. Keep warming around the University of Flame this spring. We are Chupin Alex and Alex Chupin. See you soon. Bye-bye.